Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about integrating risk management into investment planning, into investment uh, decision making. And most organizations that I have met that do have significant investment activities, they kind of already went halfway. They, they have made some integration attempts. So most organizations that I have talked to, they, whenever they have to make an investment decision, whether they're going to invest a million or a billion or a few thousand dollars into a new project, into a new activity, into a new subsidiary or a company, um, they usually carry out a risk assessment um, to understand what are the risks associated with uh, that investment deal. And uh, uh, that's that's actually not bad, but there is a better way, and I'll talk a little bit about it in the sort of in the next few few minutes. But before I go into the, what, what's 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 a better way, I wanted to stay on this risk assessments. Um, if you are doing a risk assessment on investment activities, or you're planning to start one, you absolutely must look at the risks from two different perspectives. There are risks associated with the actual subject of investment, whether it's a new plant or a new piece of equipment or a new company, you have to understand what are the risks associated with that company or with that um, plant or with that uh, piece of equipment. So uh, that's, part, that's sort of part A. You must, in your risk assessment, your methodology must allow you to look at the risks of the subject of investment. And uh, if it's a company, for example, in the investment fund where I used to work, it was always a company that was being acquired or a stake in the company was being purchased. Uh, we looked at the risks of that company. So we were looking at the market risks, at the financial risks, taxation, uh, legal risks, uh, production, technology, HR, all those sort of common risks for an organization that you absolutely must, must look. But that's only part of the story. The second, equally as important, part B, is looking at the way of uh, how the actual investment is carried out, looking at the form of investment. For example, is it a debt investment? Is that an equity investment? Is, is this uh, piece of equipment going to be paid by cash or borrowed money? Is it going to be purchased shares and in what legal entity, in what, sorry, in what jurisdiction? The, um, the deal will happen um, whether there is a new legal entity created specifically for that deal a joint venture. So there are second part, second block of the risks, quite significant ones associated with the deal making, how the deal is structured, how the investment is structured. So if you are doing risk assessments on investment activities, you must make sure that you take care of both those sides of the story. And, and that's, as I mentioned before, that's actually not bad, but there is a much better way to integrate risk management into investment activity. And that is, um, for every organization, you usually have some sort of criteria for making an investment, whether it's some sort of hurdle rate or uh, required rate of a return or some other criteria that you calculate to figure out whether this investment is actually worth it or not. Uh, it, it may be NPV, it may be IRR, it may be a million other things. But the idea is that there is a much better way of integrating risk management by changing the methodology of how this decision criteria, ultimate decision criteria is calculated. So instead of calculating NPV and having sort of your list of risks on the side and uh, the decision maker has to compare them both and see, okay, this NPV sort of meets our economic criteria, our financial criteria, but there's a list of risk and I have to consider that. Instead of doing that, you can change the way your NPV is calculated. You can change the way your IRR is calculated to make sure it fluctuates depending on the risk level, depending on the risks associated with uh, that particular investment. And that is a much, much better way to integrate risk management into decision making into investment decision making, I should say. And it could be as simple as having a fluctuate, a floating, um, fl floating um, return on um, floating cost of capital calculated in the model that depends on the, on the risk assessment. 
or it could be a Monte Carlo simulation that you use to calculate the range of possible NPVs and uh, talking about what's the likelihood of achieving your corporate objectives. So there is, just like with any other business process, there is a better way integrating risk management and I think most organizations are now mature enough to at least give it a try. Um, I am interested in hearing your thoughts. How did you integrate risk management into investment planning at your company? Do write underneath this video. If you want to see more videos like that, subscribe to the Risk Academy channel on YouTube. For now, for me, thank you and goodbye.